My name is Anna Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can change values of existing rows and columns in Excel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the UI path tutorials. With that said, let's get started. We got a, we got a data set here. We got a column with ideas, first names, last names, emails, gender, year, and then an empty column with status. First, we will see how we can change the value of one specific cell. Say that we want to change this uh, Barry B4 to something. Then we can um, go to UiPath and then find an Excel scope here. Remember to drag that in. And first we need to uh, choose where the, our workbook path is. I just will close down the workbook and then we can uh, choose where it is. I placed mine here on the desktop. It's right here, the sample. And now we can uh, choose to have the operations that we will do in Excel. We can have them visible or not visible. I'll almost always use not visible. However, if you want to see what it does, it might make sense to make it visible. And there's a lot of other settings that we won't touch because we rarely touch them actually. So, um, and then we will uh, find a right cell. And remember to take this one under Excel and not under Workbook. We'll drag this in. And first, we need to specify uh, the sheet name. And if we open the Excel sheet again, we'll see that it's not named Sheet 1, it's named Data. So it's important that we will change it to Data. Because otherwise it will just write out a brand new sheet and we're not interested in that. We will... Um, the cell was the B4 cell that we want to change and say that we want to change it to an enter, maybe, like this. Then um, we can just do this and run the file. UI path runs. And it will be done in just a second. We will wait here and then we'll open sample. We'll see that it changed the B4 cell to Nanendra instead of, um, I don't know, Barry was it here? So now we changed this name. Say that we want to change the value of more cells. Here in gender, we can see that I mistakenly or whoever created the data set had a male with a small letter in the beginning and we wanted to match the female so we want to change the small m to a bigger m. How do we do that? Well, then we go to UiPath again and uh, we will delete this right cell and now we will um, be using a um, data table because that's the easiest way to do operations in Excel. So we will have to find a read range. And again, we will close this uh, Excel sheet down to find a read range. It's not difficult or anything, this. Um, so, and again, take the one under Excel. So read range. And we will read the range in again in the data sheet. And then we will output it to a data table. So uh, go over here in data table and press Control K. And we will call this DT data maybe you can call this whatever you want just a variable name i just uh, like to name my variables like this and we can see down here in variables that we got a dt data variable uh, called data table and what a data table is is just that the corresponding data to an excel sheet so it looks like it looks uh, like this excel sheet with columns and rows and still data in it's just a data table now so that's what you that's what you're going to imagine then we need to loop through all these uh, rows here. Dum, 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 dum. And what we'll do here is that we will take a for each row. So drag that in still. We can just be in the Excel scope, that's fine. We, can, we could also have moved it out. Then we will take the for each row and then we will refer to our newly created data table. So the DT data, like this. And then we can do some operations here in the body. 
So what this does, it just it goes go to each row in the data table. So delete this body here. And then we will have an if. Um, so drag in an if, like this. And now we want to refer to, um, to this gender column. And what we'll do here is that we will take the row and then the item, item means column, and then the column. And we can either uh, refer to the column by a number. So this one will be the uh, 0, 1, 2, remember it's always 0 index, so this is column 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so we could type in 4. Or the better approach is to type in the name in quotation marks, because then when this Excel sheet gets changed, we will still have the right column say that we got a column more here, then this will suddenly be column number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, we got an error. So uh, use the name as uh, the best practice approach. So here in row item, we will um, put in the uh, gender, like this, and then to string, because we want it to a string. And the condition here should be that say that uh, whatever whatever in this row in this column if that is male then we want to do something um, so whenever this one is male then we want to change it to um, male with a capital letter so then we need an assign like this and here we will again refer to the uh, row item and then we will uh, have the gender so um, and we don't have to put it to string and then we will uh, rename it to mail like this so now we actually changed all of these things in the in the data table however we need to write out the data table to the excel sheet again because right now it's only in the data table and that one will get lost when we have run the uipath process so what we'll do here is that we will use a write range Again, under Excel and not on workbook, so drag this in. And uh, we want to write out to the data again, because we want to overwrite the data. Um, and then we will just delete this, because we want to write out the entire range. And then we will choose the DT data. And one final setting that we will use is the add headers, so that we will keep our headers on here. That's it. Let's try to close the Excel sheet and run the workflow. We started UiPath. UiPath will run. I'm not sure why. Maybe my computer is a bit slow or actually it is um, some big operations. Now it's done. We can check the sample to see if we actually change the data that we want, we wanted to have the mail with small error changed to mail with a big capital error and mission accomplished. So that's fine. Maybe it's just because it's a big data set here. You can see that's why it's slow. Say that we want to now want to change. Um, we want to look at the year. If the year is bigger than a 2000, maybe then we want to set the status to young. So um, we could set the status here. We want to set this to young because that, that one is um, spawned after 2000, so that's our mission. And we can uh, just use the workflow that we just uh, used here. We just need to change the, um, tiny things. And I think the most easiest thing is to uh, delete what's over in here and rewrite it because uh, that way you will see, you will learn a bit more. It is a bit strange. Now I will tell you that uh, when we get the values here from Excel, then it's actually not numbers that we can work with, so we need to convert them to numbers. Yeah, I know it sounds strange, but that's because it's in the data table and it's whatever it's in the data table usually uh, is strings. So um, here we will have the convert and then to double here. And then we can uh, type in whatever we will have from from this row, and we will have the row item, and then the year, like this, and that's it. And we want to look at um, the year, so we convert it now to a number that we can work with. And then we can write out the condition like this, is greater than 2000, then we want to do something with it. 
we'll just delete this assign. Actually, we'll drag in a new assign, but it's more easy to have a clear start. And what we'll do here is that we will, here we, will, we looked at the year, and then we want to change the state, uh, the, the stat status column here. So uh, what we'll just do is just row item. Again, the item is the column. So we will uh, work with the status like this. We will change this to young. Now we're done. We will close the Excel sheet and then we will run UiPath. It runs now and it will loop through all the rows. And in a second, it will have changed all our young guns to the status of young. Um, we will open the sample again here. And what we'll see is that we actually uh, accomplished our mission. Also, I hope, or actually, I know. We see here that um, all whenever a person is younger than born in 2000, we got this young tag. That's it for today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get all the, my UiPath coming tutorials. And by that, have a good day. Bye bye.